Stranger documentary. I'm gonna say, yeah, we started out this shit, but it was great. <laughs> You guys start. different stories. Yeah. You know, well, let's Lucas, all... you go first. Yeah. Well, we were both kind of like, let's start a band. I had initially said, I'm just going to be the singer just for a little bit until we like find a singer. And then it turned into, I was just going to stay with it. I remember one night I got a DM from him and it said, <laughs> I, I remember this, it said, yo, you like rock and roll? <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, yeah, man, I do like rock and roll. And then he's like, we should jam sometimes. So I'm like, for sure, yeah. This is where me and Lucas disagree because I distinctly remember me having the idea of Noah Loper being in the band. But because I was been, I, I've been in a band with him before. Uh, I think whenever we got together with Noah, we just started jamming and everything came out that way. I'd sometimes come with a riff like Goon. I think I had like most of those riffs ready and we just threw it together. The original demo tracks, we were at Rylan's grandma's house. We used those demo drums on the official album and then a lot of the guitars and basses and definitely vocals were recorded over that. I think it would be good to tell the story of what happened with Noah. Mm. That the reason you used the demos was because of your past away. the demos that was like our first thing we ever done like recording live instruments and like just experimenting with whatever sounds best we had plans to uh, make more demos we had a few shows in between that time just working on the material editing the songs you know we did the demos in 2020, in, 2020. in my house yeah. but then had plans to maybe still go to a studio uh, those, because those plans have been canceled because of COVID and whatnot. In April, when Noah passed away, we just didn't know what we were going to do at all. If we we're going to be able to use like what we had, or not, or if we we're going to have to re-record it with someone else. And I remember being on the phone with Wes, and I was like, well, I don't know what we're gonna do. And he's like, I think we use the demo tracks. Like, I think we can do it and like make it work. Who we are as a band, we're formed by our past experiences, but definitely that was a different time for us. A band is like almost a relationship like with multiple partners. It wasn't like an afterthought about the band because like that's just like rooted in what we do and who we are and, and our relationship to each other. I, I guess whenever I first found out, I was just like, shut the fuck up. Like, I don't know what, what like, how is this real? Everything that we had done, like, I didn't know if it was still going to exist or like be able to exist in my life after this. I do remember meeting back up for the first time, but like just talking things through like about what we're gonna do. So I think we all wanted to make the continue with the album. Like it was like such an uncertain time and we just slowly 
slowly start to piece together this what would become the album. Yeah, I know for me, whenever I first heard that, it was it was kind of insane just because our demos were not the the best quality I think we can all like agree like it wasn't something that we wanted to like put out but whenever we re-recorded guitars and vocals and bass on it like hearing that with the old drums it had like a new life to it Let's do one more I'm gonna stand up yes. I guess I've been making some trips to Guitar Center, basically. He's like the only younger guy in there, like, that seemed to be our age. So, I was like, and I heard, actually, I heard some of the other workers, like, hyping him up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> playing a lot of music since no pass and like I didn't think that I would whenever we got to jam the first time I just had like a bunch of random shit to try out the first time coming back and uh, playing music with people again was just it was nice it was really nice just jamming out I think that's just like Part of what makes good music good is just just being spontaneous. I feel like a new person after the album came out. I was like, I have my voice on a record that people are listening to right now. Preparing for our uh, show at the Astra Theater. It's like, I think this is, has to be like the biggest thing we've ever done, and it should feel like we're in over our heads. Hopefully, we'll sell it out by the end of the week, and then after that, we have our first tour coming up, and we have a line of shows in multiple cities. Um, and we don't exactly know if it'll take us anywhere or not. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. Just like, thinking about it, yeah. yeah. What do you want the people to walk away from that night, like feeling? A lot of the kids that would probably be coming to this don't go to rock and roll shows. They don't mm -hmm. go see like people play their instruments like with their human bodies and their souls. So it's I want it to be a different experience for those people because mm -hmm. I've felt that before. What's the future? Does anybody have any idea what? Do we know the future? I guess cross bridge when we get there a little bit. If they just ask me like what the strangers are like yeah. musically, um, greasy. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we've ever I don't think any of us have ever said that before. We've been saying it the whole time. <laughs>